hey, Prop G here. And if you're a PA student, a medical student, or someone that's just really into things like Dr. Pimple Popper, today's video is definitely for you. Now in today's video, we're gonna show you how to make your very own do-it-yourself abscess. And really all you need to do it is a pork skin, some pudding, some water balloons, a few other things that we'll show you. And you can essentially make one at home so that you can practice your incision and drainage technique. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to do it yourself. All right, so the materials that you're gonna need to make your very own do-it-yourself abscess are going to be what we see here. So here on the left-hand side, we see the pig skin. This is what we're gonna need uh, to act as our fake human. Uh, we have some water. That's what we're gonna be adding uh, to the pudding uh, to make puffs. We need some gloves when we handle the pork product. Uh, we have some demo suture to close off the pocket we make in the, in the pork skin. We also have some foam trays. Um, we have uh, some items to stir the pudding once we thin it out a little bit. We have a 5cc syringe. We have some water balloons there, uh, a colander in the back, back here. Uh, a bingo daughter, red. Uh, this is to make the abscess look more realistic. And last but not least, we have the snack pack vanilla, and that tends to resemble pus more. All right, so let's get into step one. All right, so one of the first steps that we need to do is take this snack pack and thin out the pudding that's inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna grab my water. This can be any water that you have laying around the house. And I'm gonna put a little bit in. Okay, I'm only gonna fill it up to just beneath the top because I don't want it to overflow when I start stirring it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and stir. And with this, I'm just trying to get the water and the pudding all nice and mixed up so that it resembles the texture of pus. So I'm gonna mix it until it is nice and pus-like. <laughs> so once I'm done mixing, the consistency shouldn't be runny, but it also shouldn't be too thick so that it's easy to suck up into our syringe and place into the water balloon. So the next step, we're gonna go ahead and start filling up the water balloons. And when we do, uh, and we tie it off, it'll look something like this, which resembles uh, a little abscess that we'll be placing under the pork skin. Now, this next step can get a little messy, so I like to have plenty of paper towels handy. I also like to have my colander here close by so that when I'm done tying off my abscesses in the water balloons, I can place them in here to rinse off so that they don't stay sticky. And then from there, uh, they'll be ready to place in under the skin. So first thing I'm gonna do is take a balloon, a water balloon, it should be pretty small. It doesn't need to be that big. It's just standard water balloon. There'll be a link uh, down below that you can purchase them from. Uh, I'll take my 5cc syringe. I'm gonna go ahead and suck up some of this pudding. It should go up pretty easily. Uh, I'm gonna dump, kind of tap off some of the excess. Then what I'm gonna do is take this water balloon and I'm gonna put it over the, the whole tip of the syringe so that it covers everything. We'll see like that. I'm going to go ahead and pinch it here as I squeeze, and then I'm gonna tie it off like that. You gotta be kind of careful so it doesn't squeeze out on you. Then I'm gonna kind of milk it down a bit so that the liquid goes all to one point. I'm gonna wrap it and tie it. Tie it off. And then I'm gonna try to, to cinch the knot down further down towards the abscess so that the liquid all stays in one place. And once I do that, I have a nice abscess there and I'm done, I can place it in here. And if I'm making multiple abscesses at the same time, for instance, for my students at school, I have to make over a hundred of these. So I will continue filling. And if you're curious, uh, one of these puddings can fill up about 25 of the little abscesses. Um, so it's pretty efficient. So once I've finished filling several of these, 
uh, little water balloons with the pudding mix. Uh, I will take them to the sink and give them a good rinse so that they're not too sticky, uh, especially if I'm going to be making these in bulk. And then I will store them until I'm ready to implant them underneath our pork skin. Let's go ahead and move on from that step and uh, move on to inserting it underneath the pig skin. All right, so for the next part of this procedure, we're going to have to make a small slit here uh, between the skin and the pork belly uh, so that we can insert our abscess. And so I'm going to start from my side here. I did feel to mention earlier, you will need a scalpel. Um, any size blade will work. And then it also helps to kind of have some forceps of, of some kind. So what I like to do, um, of course, using safety, um, is pick up the edge of the dermis. So it would be kind of right here. You can see where the skin layers uh, change. And you're gonna slide your scalpel underneath, kind of creating a bit of a tunnel. And so you're gonna wanna get under there and you don't wanna create too big of, of a hole for the abscess because then it kind of slides around and it's hard to use. But you do wanna create enough of a space that it will fit in there and it will work like we want it to. So I'm just kind of getting in there with my scalpel and separating those layers um, so that I can insert my abscess. Okay, so you'll want to do that until you feel like you have a good pocket. And then I like to go ahead and insert my finger and kind of feel what I have. You can kind of see that I'm right underneath the skin. And I don't think I have quite a big enough Hole yet, so I'm gonna stick my scalpel back in. Be careful not to puncture through the skin itself because I'm kind of defeat the purpose. I'm just kind of trying to get in there and make sure I have a little pocket or a little hole to stick my abscess in. Okay. Now, once I think I have the right size hole, I'll get my abscess and I will try to stick it in there underneath the skin and see if I can get it to follow that track in there. So as you can see, it kind of stops here. I think I need to make a little bit bigger space here, so I'll remove it. And I'll go in there and try to make the space a little bit bigger, the pocket. And I can do that with blunt dissection or I can do it with my scalpel. All right, let's try that again. Sliding it in. And it does a pretty good job there. Um, it's kind of where I want it to be underneath that skin. And I think I'm ready to move on to the next step. So once I have my abscess underneath the skin, you can see on this side where I created that tunnel, that there's a little bit of a way that the abscess could slide out if we're applying pressure to it. So there's really two ways to take care of this. One would be that I could put some stitches here uh, to kind of keep the skin down. If you have access to suture material, that's ideal. If not, what I would do when I instruct my students to cut this open is to apply some pressure here uh, so that it doesn't slide back out the tunnel that I made for it. Now, last but not least, the cherry on top to try to make this appear more realistic to your students uh, or to yourself is to add a little bit of redness. So you can do that with a bingo daughter. I like to kind of add a little bit of redness around it and add some realistic touch uh, because most of the time when we see these abscesses in the clinic or in the emergency department they are red and inflamed and tender um, and so there you go it's a nice abscess here uh, very fluctuant you can also practice feeling what fluctuance feels like like that and in my next video we'll go ahead and show you uh, a demonstration of the abscess ind so stick around